We have new details now on an overnight stabbing in the capital city. A hookah lounge temporarily closed after a 19-year-old man was found stabbed in a nearby parking lot. This was the scene at Admiral Street and River Avenue around 12:30 this morning. This is just the latest Providence nightclub to be temporarily shut down. On Wednesday, the Board of Licenses allowed three other clubs to reopen following shootings and stabbings nearby. Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Carter joins us in Providence with how local leaders are reacting to the latest act of violence. Courtney. Well, that overnight stabbing at a local lounge in Providence left a man in the hospital. And city leaders are saying now enough is enough. The Providence Board of Licenses has ordered Jamra Hookah Lounge to close, pending a show cause hearing this Wednesday. An emergency hearing Saturday was held after a 19-year-old man was found stabbed in a parking lot nearby. Providence City Councilman David Salvatore spoke to Eyewitness News just this week about a previous stabbing, addressing the amount of recent violence in the city. We all agree that any time there is an act of violence in our city, there will more importantly a human cost uh, to, to these various acts of violence. So, Police say the latest incident took place outside the lounge on Admiral Street and River Avenue just after midnight Saturday. Eyewitness News has learned a 21-year-old friend of the victim says they were both inside the hookah lounge when the victim accidentally bumped into another person. An argument took place and the altercation moved outside. Salvatore isn't the only local leader speaking out about the recent violence. Providence City Council President Sabina Mato saying in a statement, Waking up to news of more violence in our city is disheartening. One of the greatest things about Providence is our amazing restaurants and vibrant nightlife. Violent incidents like this one have been occurring over the past several weeks not only affect the quality of life for our residents, but also is harmful to our business community and their patrons. First, I think we need to revisit the, the strategy that we employed in 2012, and that was bringing club owners uh, to the table in City Hall and having a conversation with them. About and he says maybe some clubs need to be closed for good. Quite frustrating when our Board of Licenses makes a decision to shut down a club, a problematic club, that just to have that decision overturned by the Department of Business Regulations. Well, at last check, the victim was in stable condition and police are continuing to investigate. In Providence, I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.